Okay, hi guys, welcome to another episode of Chief Knows. Today's topic is grappling with a stick. If you check YouTube right now, you'll see so many videos of people grappling with a stick, trying to do submissions with a stick. So we're gonna discuss today if it really works or not. All right, so I'm somebody who's trained Filipino martial arts, born and raised here in the Philippines. I've been training Filipino martial arts since I was nine years old, and I've been doing jujitsu for quite a while, about 25 years as well. So, you know, I, I think maybe I'll be able to give some insights on this. So what we're gonna do right now is show you some techniques you commonly see, and we'll see what people do to counter it. I'm sure you guys have seen people do chokes, they, get, they do something like this, okay? Then from here, they're gonna choke the person, okay? Now, Coach Mike does not know what I'm gonna do to him, okay? So we're here right now. Coach Mike, how would you counter this? Any counter, okay? That's how simple it is, okay? So many people, people are doing that. You wanna do that to me, Coach Mike? So basically, I'm doing this, and I'm doing this here, okay? Do that same thing to me. Okay, so we're here. Okay, there. Okay, so he's here. Okay, so the thread is here on my throat, okay? All I have to do for this, okay, is just hold it. That's it. Okay, once I hold it, I can come in and start grappling with him, okay? The stick's not gonna matter because, again, he doesn't have the distance to hurt me or strike me because I'm already here, okay? From here, I can do a lot of other things. Throw, pick him up, whatever, okay? Another one, Coach Mike. A lot of people see, oh, what happens if I have this? I do something like this, and I do a cross choke like this. Okay, a lot of, if you look at the YouTube videos, you see a lot of bullshit like this, okay? Coach Mike, counter this please, any counter. See, that's how easy it is. <laughs> that's how easy it is, okay? So many people are doing shit like this and they expect it to work, okay? Now, if you don't believe me, try any of these techniques, these stick grappling things with a real grappler. Watch what happens, okay? So I'm telling you guys now, I'm showing this to everybody just to make sure that we debunk all of the bullshit FMA moves you see out there, okay? FMA is a beautiful, beautiful martial art. It's got a lot of deadly techniques, but this stuff, this stuff with this is all bullshit. Okay, let me show you another one, okay? So there's another one from here, okay? If I'm holding him here, I'm gonna take the person down by doing this, okay? So I'm trying to, trying to take Coach Mike down, okay? Coach Mike's gonna fight back. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah! <laughs> See, now he's gonna throw me! <laughs> okay, so these things don't work, all right? There's nothing here that will make me take him down from here. There's no pressure here, okay? Ch Coach Mike, are you getting choked in any way? Okay, if I do this, I will get choked also. Okay, try to come out. Go, try to get out there, that's it. <laughs> That's how easy it is, okay? So, um, of course, there's a lot of things that people say, okay, maybe he does this, this this kind of choke. Yeah, sometimes this will work, okay? Sometimes, okay? But this guy already knows that. All he has to do is put his hand on this here, and it comes out, go, Coach Mike, there, comes out, all right? So, I'm showing you guys this, not to make fun of other people, it's just so you guys, know that this stuff does not work, okay? So if I'm against somebody, okay, and he's a grappler, of course, my thing is to always make sure that I have the space. He comes in, I go right away, I whack him, okay? But even if you hit him, there's no guarantee he's gonna go down, okay? Especially if there's so many Filipino martial artists out there, okay? Or sorry, FMA guys. When they, when they strike, okay, they didn't, they didn't work on their attributes. So if they strike, okay, it's like, it's nothing, okay? The guy can always take it. And even if you do work on your strikes, there's still no guarantee in combat that if you hit the head or hit the arm that you'll be able to, you'll be able to knock the person out, okay? It's just like boxing. When you hit the guy, it doesn't matter. There's no guarantee that the guy gets knocked out, okay? So anyway, so we're here. Coach Mike closes the distance on me, here, okay? You see, there's so many techniques where I do this kind of thing, and then later on I'm doing this. Coach Mike, what do you do? Okay, there, oh, boom. <laughs> okay, I just get beaten up, all right? So, what would I do? Let's say I had a stick, and Coach Mike would, would be here, close the distance, okay? First thing is he already has double underhooks on me, okay? He already has my arm, okay? So I cannot use the stick, and I cannot punch here, okay? What I would do is first, I have to make sure that I make my position better, okay? 
So he can pull me in and everything and hurt me. First thing I would do is go on my knees. Make my hips go back, okay? Then I overhook this, and I put my hand here, okay? So from here, I break, okay? Now is when I go, okay? It's not that I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna try to do something stupid, oh, I do this, and then maybe I can do this. No, that shit doesn't work, okay? So we're here to show you guys about stick grappling, all right? What else do we see in stick grappling? Um, oh, this is a favorite of mine. A lot of you guys who started uh, are in this for the first time will see this kind of thing, where, where I hit here, then I'm all of a sudden here. And because of the pressure on his bicep, I can take him down and he gets thrown, okay? Now, Coach Mike is an MMA fighter, jiu-jitsu guy. He's, he's fought all over. So, Coach Mike, again, I, we didn't discuss this. I'm just gonna do these techniques to him and he's just gonna come up with a counter, okay? Just so you guys know. So I'm here, I'm trying to throw him this way. Coach Mike, what would you do? Yes. <laughs> That's how easy it is, okay? <laughs> So I'm sorry I'm laughing. Um, so I want you guys to know, okay, don't grapple with a stick, okay? The stick is a weapon or a tool that's, that's good when you have distance. When you're here, don't pretend, okay? It goes out to all the other instructors there, please stop pretending that you can grapple with a stick, okay? Now, a lot of other people, sometimes they spar, they spar with sticks and they go on the ground. Okay, that's fine if that's what you guys wanna do, all right? In real life, that's unrealistic. Because if you're fighting with sticks and you guys go on the ground, unless it's one and one, your shirt's one and one, maybe that's possible. But if you grapple and if you had sticks already to begin with and you're on the ground, okay, you're gonna get killed, especially when his friends come in, for sure. Okay, so hopefully that guy that, that opens up a lot of eyes, okay? Remember, stick grappling, don't, okay? If you wanna learn grappling, learn a grappling art, okay? If you want to learn how to use a stick, then yes, when you go to FMA, right? Don't mix the two. Okay, guys, what we're going to do right now is we're going to experiment, okay? So what's going to happen is Coach Mike and Coach Racer are going to come in. They're going to grapple with the stick. So Coach Racer is going to have the stick and Coach Mike will have no stick, okay? So let's come in, guys. Okay, so what's going to happen is we're going to assume that Coach Mike already closed the distance, okay? Of course, we're here. We have the advantage but you already closed the distance, okay? So let's go in, Coach Mike. Coach Mike comes in, okay? Now from here, Coach Rayson's gonna try to grapple with the stick. Okay, ready, let's go. There, all right, he's already made space. Okay, now Coach Mike already's got a choke on him. Okay, let's see what you can do with that stick. Let's go, let's go. Okay, keep going, keep going. There, now he's gonna come back out, all right? Keep going, keep going. Use your stick, use your stick. See, he's using his stick. No, not working. Okay, stop, stop. <laughs> and go. Okay, so there. See, Coach Mike already got his back. Okay, he's holding his stick. Okay, now we're gonna go. Okay, stop, stop. Okay, stop, guys, stop. <laughs> um, it's almost useless. Okay? Even if you do get a hit, it's not going to work, especially if the guy is a good grappler, he knows what he's doing. Okay, if you notice that exchange, Coach Mike was just, you know, making sure that he had the distance, but there's a, there were several times that Grayson, you could have hit, but again, there's no guarantee that just because you hit him on the head, that nothing's going to happen, okay? Now, we're going to do the second context now. This type, the second one is Coach, Coach Mike will close the distance again, okay? Close the distance, come in. Now, Coach Rayson's goal will be to create the space to hit. Ready? Go. Use his grappling to create the space. See it? There. Now we go. See it? That's how we go. That's how realistic. <laughs> That's more realistic, okay? That's how you really fight with the stick. You use your grappling to create the distance, then you hit, okay? Not you try to do all sorts of funny stuff with the stick, okay? That's just a recipe for disaster, okay? So, um, now, People will ask also what happens now if Coach Mike grappled with me here, okay? Does that mean I let go of the stick and after I grapple with him because I'm a jiu-jitsu black belt, okay? No. If I'm here, okay, I'm going to use my jiu-jitsu to be able to get out. That's when I go, 
okay? I use my jiu-jitsu to be able to create the distance. I use my wrestling to be able to create the distance, okay? There's no FMA secret technique or whatever, okay? That will magically enhance my chances of winning, okay? Let's say, for example, Mike comes in again, okay? This way, okay? Maybe say, oh, I can do the witik, okay? I can hit him this way, okay? Have you ever hit a guy this way and you see what happens? Nothing, okay? Unless you're fighting a sissy, okay? If you hit somebody like head this way, this way, they'll be able to take it, all right? Don't think, oh, my witik is really, really strong. No, it's not, okay? Maybe you put a couple of cuts there, but trust me, if I'm doing this, go coach Mike, yeah, now I'm gonna, that's it, I'm just gonna go flying, all right? So don't, don't forget, okay? Um, stick is for creating distance. Okay, create the distance so you can be have, to have the advantage, all right? Now, Coach Mike is a jiu-jitsu guy, an MMA fighter, and a Kali tactical instructor, all right? So I'd always bet on him than any fancy stick fighting, I mean stick grappling guy, okay? That stuff does not work. If you want to learn how to grapple, do a legit grappling art. If you want to learn how to use a stick, of course, go to FMA. Okay, I'm going to show you one final scenario. This is especially good for the grapplers, okay? so. I've been showing you that you know grappling with a stick is close, almost close to useless. Okay, so does that mean I do this? Let's say for example I would coach Mike. Okay, again, if you close the distance on me, I told you I'm going to use whatever grappling experience I know to be able to create the distance so I can hit. Okay, that's the way to use the stick, not grapple with it. Okay, now does that mean though that because he's grappling with me this way? Okay, I'm just going to throw my stick. Okay, now this is what happens if I throw the stick. Okay, I use this, I start grappling with him, and then I create the distance, okay? Coach Mike's gonna get the stick, and then whack, whack me with it, okay? Another scenario, even worse, okay? So we're grappling, okay? Close the distance, I throw the stick here, and then I go grappling with him. Then Coach Rayson gets the stick, and then whacks me with it, there. <laughs> All right, don't let go of your stick, okay? So, just as we were discussing, can I borrow the stick, okay? so. Coach Mike is holding the stick this way, okay? If I also hold the stick, he doesn't have ownership of the stick anymore. Okay, if you see this, just by holding this, the stick that was once his ownership, is now our ownership, okay? So it effectively negates everything. The stick becomes almost useless, okay? Of course, there's so many people who will say, oh no, he doesn't know how to use the stick, whatever, okay? Try it on any jiu-jitsu black belt, any, okay? The grappling this way, okay? Or any wrestler, any decent wrestler. Watch what happens, okay? Try to do any of that funky stuff, whatever the stick, won't work, won't work, okay? So remember, the stick is, you have to create the distance before you go, okay? It's not something you grapple with. Of course, there's so many, so many things that you can do with the stick, okay? When it comes to striking, but it is not for grappling. There's a lot of, there's a lot of things in Filipino martial arts that are good, a lot of stuff that's, that's just utter bullshit, okay? That'll get you killed. So I wanna make sure that everybody sees both the good and the bad, okay? Now, I do these videos to make sure everybody knows how to survive on this, in the street, okay? Nothing else, okay? I'm not putting down or talking about any other system, okay? I love Filipino martial arts, been doing that since I was nine years old, even until to this day, I'm still a student, okay? Regardless of whatever instructorships I've gotten, I'm still a student, I'm always learning. If you guys have any techniques or videos that can contradict what I'm saying, please do share with me, okay? Because I'd love to learn and love to see it also myself. Anyway, thank you guys for joining us in Chief Knows. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys. Keep the fight.